A lot of times you may need to back up important documents to access them from multiple Windows computers or from the cloud storage by using the browser. Using latest version of Windows 10, you can configure OneDrive backup settings to define which folders should be synchronized with the cloud storage. To define which folders will be synchronized with OneDrive, you need to navigate to the OneDrive icon, go to More, go to Settings, and here in Settings, first of all, you can see that my account only uses 389 kilobytes out of 5 gigabytes available, but to choose folders um, that's available for the backup, you click Choose Folder button, and it shows all the folders available for the backup, and you can select which ones would you like to put in and synchronize. Once we finalize configuration, we can trigger the backup. To do that, you click OK on the Settings screen, you navigate to Documents, and you click Manage OneDrive Backup. You click View Sync in Progress. To manage backup, I'm going to create a folder structure and couple sample files to demonstrate how backup works. I created sample folder in the documents and uh, three sample text files. Now to trigger the backup, what we need to do is we need to right mouse click on the documents and click Manage Online Backup and click Start Backup. And once backup is complete, you can navigate to the documents folder and you will see that it replicated the folder structure on OneDrive and also the green status indicates that the sample folder for documents and three sample files have been backed up and are available in the cloud. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button in your browser. Also, please help your friends to learn this topic faster by sharing this video with them. And if you would like to be the first one to know about new videos to help you reach your goals faster, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.